بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله I begin with the name of Allah All praise belongs to Allah May peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad For he is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So in the previous lesson We talked about the five daily prayers We mentioned their beginnings and their ends Now there's one thing that I want to mention Because this is very beneficial for us living Particularly in the north Where some of the prayer times are very short so we said that the Dhuhr prayer, it begins when the sun is at its zenith, at its highest point in the sky, and then it ends when an object's shadow is equal to its height. That's in the Shafi school, as well as in the Maliki school, as well as in the Hanbali school. Now the Hanafi school disagrees. The Hanafis, they say that Dhuhr goes all the way until an object's shadow is twice its height. And they have their proofs. Alhamdulillah. No contention there. We have our proofs, they have their proofs. But what this means is that this extra time in the Hanafi school is about 30 to 90 minutes extra, depending on the season, depending on the region of the world that you live in. So what this means is that technically within this window of 30 to 90 minutes, there's an overlap. You can actually pray the Dhuhr prayer according to the Hanafi school, and you can pray the Asr prayer according to the Shafi, Maliki, and Hanbali schools. And this is important to keep in mind because in the winter, especially if you live in the north, the prayer times are very short. If you don't have much time, let's say due to school schedules or maybe work or maybe you're traveling, this is beneficial to keep in mind. And so what you can do is you can pray Dhuhr, wait a few minutes, and then pray Asr. It's not the ideal, but again, when the prayer times are so short, it's much better than missing Dhuhr or missing Asr. My only word of advice is to use this sparingly. Only use it maybe in the winter time when the prayers are very tight, very short. Otherwise, it's much better to pray the Har Nasr separately in their own times. Alhamdulillah. But this dispensation exists and take advantage of it if need be. May Allah Ta'ala have mercy on us. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala ushabihi wa ala atba'ihi hatta yamil qiyamati wa salam taslima kathira.